Imagine what it would be like to have an audience with the devil himself. To many, our story today borders around that same premise. It's a truly intriguing journey through time, discovering an extraordinary yet untold story that defied all expectations. We're going to talk about the first black man to converse with one of history's most infamous figures, Adolf Hitler. TR Media explores cutting-edge frontiers and transformative initiatives for new and curious audiences interested in the evolving global innovation landscape. Milton Samuel J. Wright, born in Savannah, Georgia on June 28, 1903, was a distinguished economist whose journey from the vibrant streets of the American South to academic halls and a defining encounter shaped his lasting legacy. He began his academic journey at Wilberforce University, where he earned a bachelor's degree in economics in 1926, demonstrating his intellectual drive. With an insatiable thirst for knowledge, Wright pursued a master's degree in economics at Columbia University, demonstrating his dedication to scholarly pursuits. In 1932, he received a PhD in economics from Germany's prestigious University of Heidelberg. Economic Development and Indigenous Policy in the African Protectorates his dissertation examined the complexities of colonialism, economic systems, and policy impact on indigenous communities. Wright's extensive research exposed colonial flaws and advocated for equitable policies that empower African communities. His PhD from Heidelberg strengthened his academic credentials, fostering a commitment to social justice and economic equality. Wright's accomplishments propelled him into international affairs during a period of global upheaval, earning him recognition as an emerging economics luminary. His unique perspective on navigating academia and global politics as a black man infused new life into debates. Wright's unique encounter with Adolf Hitler, though shrouded in mystery in the shadow of rising dictators, resonates in historical whispers. Wright's commitment to critical discourse likely drew the attention of influential people. Their meeting, a watershed moment in history, saw two diametrically opposed individuals engage in a conversation rife with the potential for transformative revaluation. Wright's foresight and commitment to dialogue may have piqued the interest of influential figures, paving the way for this pivotal meeting. An incidental meeting between Milton Samuel J. Wright and Adolf Hitler occurred in the summer of 1932 in Heidelberg, changing the course of their lives. Wright was at a political rally when he made an ill-advised remark about assassinating Hitler, which was overheard by guards, who promptly detained him. Wright was summoned by Hitler himself, who happened to be staying in the same hotel. Despite his reservations, Wright entered Hitler's room, armed with fluency in German and knowledge of Nazi ideology. Their interaction, as reported by the Pittsburgh Courier and Ebony magazine, revealed an unequal conversation. Hitler, who dominated the discussion, displayed his skewed worldview, acknowledging black historical figures while maintaining deep prejudices. Hitler dismissed Wright's achievements, claiming that educated black people were doomed to misery. This chilling exchange took place months before Hitler became Chancellor of Germany, providing an unsettling insight into his mind. It served as a reminder of prevailing racism for Wright, Despite its ambiguous details, the encounter is a testament to the ongoing battle against racial inequality and the importance of unwavering determination in the face of adversity. It serves as a reminder that even in the presence of a demagogue, people like Wright continued to fight for justice, equality, and the abolition of oppressive ideologies. During their conversation, Adolf Hitler addressed the state of African Americans in the United States, unafraid to bring attention to their plight. He pointed out the obvious lack of voting rights for black Americans and criticized their apparent acceptance of their own oppression. Hitler's words cut through the air with chilling honesty as he remarked, Nagros must be definitely third-class people if whites can lynch, beat, and segregate them without rising up against them. This historic conversation had a far-reaching impact, spanning continents and crossing the Atlantic to capture the attention of readers in the United States. The Pittsburgh Courier, a prominent African-American newspaper, jumped at the chance to share this incredible encounter. The newspaper ran a front-page article recounting the profound conversation between Milton Samuel J. Wright and Hitler shortly after the United States entered the Second World War. The publication's goal was to shed light on the realities of marginalized communities 
and inspire readers to confront the injustices that society faces. Throughout the conversation, Wright drew attention to a fascinating aspect of Hitler's demeanor as he shared his memories. Despite the gravity of the topics discussed, Hitler remained calm on the outside, presenting his questions with authority before promptly providing his own answers. This pattern emphasized the strength of his convictions and the consistency of his beliefs. For example, he posed the provocative question, don't you think your people are destined to be slaves of one kind or another forever? Yes, your people are a hopeless lot, I said coldly. I don't dislike them, rather, I sympathize with them. The profundity of this conversation was not lost on anyone, and its impact extended beyond the written word. The radio show New World a Coming, a platform dedicated to promoting anti-racism and equality, recognized the significance of this encounter in 1944. They chose to dramatize the conversation, bring the words to life, and the conversation between Wright and Hitler struck a chord with listeners, evoking a range of emotions and fueling a collective call to action against racial injustice. This extraordinary meeting between Wright and Hitler remains significant in history, serving as a haunting reminder of the deep prejudices that plagued societies at the time. It emphasizes the critical importance of unwavering resistance to oppression and the never-ending pursuit of equality and justice. Wright's bravery in engaging Hitler and sharing his account of the conversation exemplifies the indomitable spirit of those who fight for justice and strive to break the chains of bigotry. It serves as a constant reminder of the difficulties that marginalized communities face, as well as the importance of speaking truth to power. We honor the resilience of those who paved the way for a more equitable world by bringing this remarkable exchange to light. Milton Samuel J. Wright's ordeal in the presence of Adolf Hitler lasted an incredible four hours. Despite the gravity of the situation, Hitler showed surprising courtesy. He complimented Wright on his flawless command of the German language and suggested future meetings in Munich. Hitler even gave Wright an autograph photograph as a token of their strange encounter, a memento that would serve as a constant reminder of their bizarre exchange. After surviving this bizarre and unlikely encounter with one of history's most infamous figures, Wright returned to the United States and resumed his work at Samuel Houston College in Austin, Texas. Milton Samuel J. Wright began a new chapter in his career as a professor in 1933, after returning from his tense encounter with Adolf Hitler. He joined the esteemed faculty of Wilberforce University, becoming a professor and the head of the Department of Economics and Political Science. This appointment was a watershed moment in Wright's academic career, solidifying his position as a respected scholar and leader within the university community. Wright brought a fresh perspective and intellectual vigor to his teaching and research endeavors with his wealth of knowledge in economics and political science. His students benefited greatly from his knowledge as he shared valuable insights and helped them understand these complex fields. Wright, as department head, was also instrumental in shaping the curriculum, cultivating an environment of intellectual curiosity and guiding aspiring scholars toward academic excellence. In 1934, he made a significant personal step by marrying Sue Hurt. As Wright continued his journey, this union provided him with unwavering support and companionship. Wright dedicated himself to teaching and administrative responsibilities at Wilberforce University for nearly four decades, leaving an indelible mark on the institution. His extensive knowledge of economics and political science established him as a respected professor and a leader in the academic community. Wright's unwavering dedication to research and scholarship propelled him to the position of vice president for research, solidifying his impact on the university even further. Milton Samuel J. Wright retired in 1969, capping off a remarkable career at Wilberforce University. As a professor of economics and political science, his influence extended beyond the classroom, profoundly influencing students and significantly contributing to academic advancements in his fields. Wright's story exemplifies perseverance, intellectual rigor, and an unwavering dedication to justice. Despite his extraordinary meeting with Hitler, he pursued his life's work, leaving an indelible mark on academia. Wright's legacy is well established in the annals of Wilberforce University. 
His unwavering pursuit of knowledge and his unwavering commitment to shaping minds and fostering academic progress reflect his dedication to excellence as an educator and administrator. Milton Samuel J. Wright was a pillar of academic excellence at Wilberforce University, shaping the landscape of economics and political science. Beyond the classroom, his insatiable thirst for knowledge drove him to conduct extensive scholarly research, which enriched our understanding of complex economic dynamics and political systems. His dedication to illuminating the complexities of these fields was matched by his desire to spark societal advancement. Administrative positions were more than just titles for right, they were opportunities to foster an academically rigorous environment. His leadership style, which combined astuteness and empathy, earned him deep respect and admiration among colleagues and students. Wright's contributions were critical in guiding Wilberforce University's expansion. His impact extended beyond his retirement, reverberating throughout the institution. His scholarly legacy, leadership, and unwavering commitment to academic excellence bear witness to his lasting influence. Wright's legacy inspires future generations of scholars, carrying the torch of intellectual pursuit and societal progress forward. The world mourned the death of Milton S. J. Wright, an academic icon and a beacon of social change, on March 11, 1972. His death in Semia, Ohio, signaled the end of an era, but it also heralded the continuation of his enduring legacy. Wright's physical journey ended at the age of 68, but the imprints of his work in economics, political science, and social justice remained. Francine, his daughter, emerged as a torchbearer for his legacy, embodying his values and principles. She embodied her father's enduring spirit, carrying on his teachings and ideals into the future. Wright's departure left a void in academia, but his teachings have continued to resonate, touching the lives of many and inspiring future generations. His legacy was sustained not only by his scholarly contributions, but also by the lives he influenced and the ideologies he instilled. Wright's death was a transition, not an end, because his teachings and beliefs lived on in the hearts and minds of those who carried his torch, ensuring that his impact on academia and society remained eternally vibrant. Francine embodies the spirit of her father's unwavering commitment to knowledge and social progress as the torchbearer of his intellectual lineage. While Milton S. J. Wright's physical presence is no longer felt in academic circles, his intellectual legacy lives on. His teachings continue to motivate future generations of academics. His research continues to shed light on the complexities of economics and political science, and his dedication to social justice serves as a beacon of hope for those seeking a more equitable world. Hope you enjoyed this episode of History from TR Media. If you did, then hit the like button. We'll be working on the next episode.